Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. The New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do Thursday, November 9th, 2023 crosswords, and go for that 1350 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, life of something. This is extra, maybe? Mix up. The club ultra. Start of a December holiday greeting. Merry. Woohoo. This is furry. Ref. Life of, life of Riley. Couldn't think of that expression. Life of Riley. McClub Ultra. Tough mini, I think. Tough mini. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But now, time for the main event. That's the Thursday Daily Grid, which I think I saw was by Simeon Siegel today. It's not loading up. Here we go. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Thursday is my favorite day of the week. It's the hard themed puzzle. And we've got parentheses in this one. Interesting. Maybe they're not parentheses. We'll see. Maybe they're air quotes or something. Only one way to find out what this Thursday puzzle is all about. Let's see what Simeon Siegel has in store for us. Let's get into it. Nord O'Donnell's network and sites around Joshua Tree National Park. That's probably Cacti and CNN. Regularly checking the time, maybe. It's like something... Mm, quickly Pass quickly over. Maybe it's CBS then. NASA's all good. AOK -okay or something. Prosecco alternative, familiarly, and one with many priors, maybe. An X con? What is this then? Iconic feature of the Who's My Generation. Seat in Parliament. Scott who wrote the Black Pearl. Bad listening ability. Okay. Leaf-like plant part, one running for Congress, question mark. Prefix with side. Spoiler alert, it's bacteria. E. coli. This is ecocide, maybe. Kind of situation that's hopeless. Maybe it's no win. Confidence boosting corporate tires, a power suit. How most stormtroopers look in Star Wars. Having wrinkles. This is sepal, I think. Got his, oh, they look alike and eek and liney. Result of dropping a tray of coffee drinks, question mark. Very idea. Musical horn. Lena horn. One running for Congress is Senate something. Cousins of cassowaries. I guess that's Rhea's. Unspecified ordinal is the nth one. Activity that involves shape shifting. I think this is bored, probably. Workers at the rear of some flat boats, question mark, and like 80% of the Arabian Peninsula. It's probably Osti. Maybe it's Saudi. This could be Bum. Oh, this is an abbot, a prior, like a, like a monk. Bad listening ability is Tin Ear. It's Odell Scott, I think. Craftsman. So we have aft of the raft, I think. Right, skate over here. I, this is Tetris, really like Tetris. Maybe this is a baseline, result of dropping a tray of coffee drinks. So I guess this is gonna be latte. Maybe it's not baseline, let's not put that in yet. Grow threadbare is Frey. Michelle Yo of Everything Ever All at Once. Excellent in dated slang. Keyboard key not found on smartphones. An org with grants for asbestos removal. It's EPA and escape. Doubly half named fig is your SSN. Huge. Okay. Two handed gesture. Special effects devices at a rock concert. Shrunken snack item. Not that shrink. Okay, dried version of the almost ripe poblano, ancho chili. Last bit. Academics credential, it's PhD. Cleveland abuts it. I think this is eerie and dreg here. Indication to stop playing, perhaps. Okay. C65 down. 
with 45 across Northwest Airport in brief. SeaTac, my home airport for three years there, has a bias. Could this be Leans? Full moon period on the Roman lunar calendar. Start of a counting rhyme. Eni. My liege. Delight. What is this revealer? Thoroughly. Or how to read the four cross answers with parentheses in this puzzle. This is thrill, probably. Party game choices. Dare, as in truth or dare. This is Asa Hutchinson, right? Tally of samples at a geology competition. Some kind of sheet. This is a rest sign. Slosh against as the shorts lap at. Echo pedals, maybe? This is psych something. Toast is char. Uh, makes out in Britain is snogs. Thinks are something. Oh, it sings, maybe? Capri pants. Score sheet. Coveted cup is a grail. Holy grail. Fix unfairly is rig. Love of Charles Foster Kane, I guess, is opera. Huge. Cyclopean. Interesting. Pigment akin to ochre or umber. Inside something. This is Ides. One on one Olympic event. Is it Ape? Is it Sienna? Parts of some cells. Stores ashes. In urn. Salt and pepper or peanut butter and jelly are pears. Oh, it's an anode. Inside out. TV data blackish is Dre and rated G or rated X. So this is Orcor's score sheet. This is Aft Rafts Craftsman. This is Latte Clatter Platter Splattered. I see. This is Bassoon, I think. No. Bass still something. Solo. Okay, this is a clap and fat. Okay. The other psychotherapist. Okay. Etc. This is ERP. Surveillance Orgus NSA. This is a prune. Senate page. I see. Okay. Running as in, you know, like running errands for a senator, say. So we've got these things to be read from the inside out, from the most inner parenthe parentheses bit to the most outer one. The other psychotherapist is kind of a nice find. Note that the uh, second pair of parentheses always just adds one letter each to the beginning and the end. I don't think that's necessary for the tightness of the theme. I think it's just the themer that the themers that Simon Siegel found. The other psychotherapist is quite nice. Or core's score sheet. It's a bit wacky, right? The other side of a therapist, I feel like something you might actually say. You never say or core's score sheet. I also never say aft rafts craftsman. The S here is a bit awkward. Aft rafts. It's like, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't ever say, it doesn't really, you would say, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say anything like this, but Aft Raft's Craftsman does not read to me as a craftsman at the back of the raft. It's just awkward. Latte Platter Splattered does seem reasonable, but I think this is probably the weakest one. Aft Raft's Craftsman just doesn't, doesn't really read right. Latte Platter Splattered, that's like a headline, right? The other psychotherapist, that's very natural. And Orcor's score sheet is at least an imaginable thing. But interesting, I wonder what other um what other options Simeon Siegel found. I guess if he had a he gave a comment to the wordplay blog, we could find it. Uh Is there a... There's no wordplay blog article yet? Interesting. Okay, well, I do kind of wonder what other things are possible. Let's uh, let's take a look through this puzzle before we do some, some other puzzles. Yeah. Prior. 
like a... This is definitely a misdirect, but it's this noun version. A man next in rank below an abbot. You can add a, a monastery, say. This was pretty tough, I think. At least at the top, I felt like it was pretty tough. Maybe the bottom was less tough? Yeah, SeaTac used to be my airport. Back when I lived in Seattle. Shout out to the Seattle folks. Oh, we've got end at the end. Hanging a hat on that there. Seat in Parliament, just a British word for butt. <laughs> Tin ear to me is like a wordless word. One running for Congress. It's a cute clue. Fat, yeah, it's like very 90s. Cyclopean, I guess, like the size of a cyclop, cyclops, I guess, of or resembling a cyclops. Cyclopean eye, so it doesn't necessarily mean large. Huge, massive, okay, it does. Um, never heard the, f the term cyclopean or cyclopean. I mean, it's inferable, but never heard it. I do have a PhD. I always like to mention that. Uh, as regular viewers of the channel know, we had Eni spelled E and Y recently, I believe. Um, I prefer the current spelling in this puzzle. Anyway, that's uh, it's a fun group of finds. Calendar today. A bit faster than average. People are going about. Oh wait, this is just me. <laughs> the first person to have hit refresh on xwstats.com. Always a good feeling. <laughs> My uh, average actual solve time in the last 60 days has been 6:44, so we're a bit faster than average. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on to some other puzzles, starting with the Telegraph's plus word. It's like a British mini crossword merits word at the end, and here's your spoiler alert. Link is in the description below. Let's uh, let's get to it. Dutch cheese with yellow rind. I guess that's Gouda. Big balls. Obvious is overt. One egging someone on as an urger. Princess played by Elizabeth Debicki is Diana. Put fear to rest. Allay. So it's galas. Okay ball like uh, an event, so given. There we go. Ball, you know, like uh, Cinderella's ball. <laughs> I was thinking like a planet something, right? An orb, but no. Avril, that's April in French. This is kind of a British clue, I guess, but not overly British, this one. Kind of like it when, when you can learn something British from the, uh, the plus word, but obviously their goal isn't to educate Americans on Britishness, their goal is just to get a puzzle out. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the code words tough. Sometimes can be quite tough. Not always, but sometimes. The question is, which vowel is this? You know, I kind of like I. Something like vigil, maybe? Not visit. I don't think the this is, um, ooh but we do have this 1424. So it's not vigil either. Could it be visit? I guess it could be visit. Okay, let's, let's look at this. This feels like an E to me. Following up a V at the end? It's gotta be, right? Now, let's see. It's not every. It could be elegy. Let's try visit. Let's just see what it looks like if I put it in. Reserve. So the S feels pretty decent then. Uh, 
Okay. This is view, I suppose. Could be something like vide, but... So this is a vowel. And this is a vowel. Yonder? And then this is an A. That seems reasonable. Does yonder feel reasonable here? Yeah. Carton? Looks okay. Knee? Also looks okay. I think. Tinderbox with a taxi rank, like a line of taxis. Subject matter. Chutney. Sober K. That's nice. Nice word, sober K. Uncomfortable. That's empower there. Off pieced. This was elegy in the end. Nitrogen, frozen, and jaguar. All right, just about. My average time is 260. Interesting. I wonder if you might call that three minutes. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's just a rounding thing. But right around average there. All right, what's a taxi rank? Basically, a taxi stand, I see. Okay, and then off piste, something to do with skiing. Off piste slopes. All right. Didn't know all that stuff, but got there in the end in two and a half minutes. Let's move on to the code words regular. Let's see what we can do here. Figure out which vowel this is. This is E. So this is some kind of cake, maybe. C A blank A. I think we gotta go. Ooh. Then what is this? What is this? This is the O. This feels more like an E. Think, look at all those terminal things. Tea cake, is that a thing? I think that might be a thing. Cassette, oh, it's just an S, okay. Let's see where to go next. N. An intent or something? No, it's not intent. Invent, visitor, so this is our O. That looks okay. National something. Oil paint down here. That helps. Sixpence, none the richer. Visitor. So this is early. Posy is a kind of flower. I want bite here. But I'm not that sure. This seems like it's a jackdaw crossing wooden. Dressing there. Cobra. Table football. I guess that's like foosball. Uh, I guess this is the U. Jute. Brisk. All right, this can't be an E, so it's not bite. What is it then? An H? Is matzah myth. Hamster, that's what that was. All right. Just also right around average on the code words regular. Nothing too crazy. What's a jute? <laughs> Fiber, okay. Things that always get me are fibers and fabrics and flowers, but nice. Uh, right, last thing we do here before we go is take a look at the New York Times connections puzzle. We're trying to group 16 words into four groups of four and try to figure out what's happening. Flip flop and wedge are kinds of shoes. The mules kind of drink. Russians kind of drink too, right? Like a Bloody Mary, a white Russian, a Moscow mule. That could be. Yo-yo and flip-flop and seesaw can all mean to go back and forth. To hedge? That looks alright to me. 
It's not right. Waffle. Maybe, okay. What's a waffle? All right, let's see. You know, I guess breeze umbrella, sunscreen and towel are things you bring to the beach or something. Curly fry, waffle fry, shoestring fry. Any other kind of fries? Russian fries? Waffle fry, curly fry, shoestring fry. And then I, it's not flip flop, hedge, seesaw, and yo yo though. So that throws a little breeze, sunscreen, towel, umbrella, and then. Russian Mary Mule and Oh, there's also Waver. Did I see Waver? I think I did. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't. So what's the other kind of fry? Wedge? Wedge fries? Potato wedges? All right, types of French fries. That's good. I think this feels pretty good. And then flip-flop, Waver, yo-yo, seesaw. I guess the question is which of those is most likely a drink, because I guess it is a drink in the end. No, that's not right either, huh? I guess there's also fl you can bring a flip-flop. Oh, is a breeze a drink? And then hedge waver yo-yo seesaw. I think we gotta try it. I think we gotta try this. Oh uh, wait, no. Yeah, I think we gotta try this. Bog cocktails, okay. So I had some had some issues there, but basically had the thread just uh, kind of missed. The breeze is a kind of. What's the vodka cocktail involved? What kind of breeze? Sea breeze. Wasn't familiar with that one. Bloody Mary, Moscow Mule, and White Russian though. I guess you don't bring your breeze to the beach. Yeah, all right, very nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.